Phonetics is the study of the sounds of human speech, and part of that study involves the vowels and consonants. <laughs> it is extremely complicated, and it is different to phonics. Now, with phonics, the aim is to use aspects of phonetics to help make it easier for children who are learning to read and write. And in this section, the aim is to provide enough simple knowledge and guidance to enable teachers and parents to help their children. The English writing system uses 26 letters to represent the 44 sounds of English, and they are the letters of the alphabet. Now, this means that some sounds have to be represented by two or more letters. Now, five of the 26 letters are vowels, and they are the A, the E, the I, O, and U. And the others are consonants. Now, the letter Y is an unusual letter, this letter Y, because it can sometimes be a consonant or a vowel. When there is just one vowel letter, it is usually known as a short vowel, such as a, e, i, o, and a, as in the words lad, egg, pink, hot, and bump. Now, this letter Y, as explained in step four, sometimes takes the place of the I, and then it takes on the sounds of that letter. So, when the Y replaces a short vowel, it has an I sound, as in words like pyramid, myth, symbol, cyst, and system. Usually two letters or more are needed to make the other vowel sounds, such as A, E, I, O, U, Al, Oi, and U, U. Now, sometimes the vowel sound is represented by a vowel and a consonant, such as in these ones, U, R, R, O, O, or Al, O, O, and I. The letter sounds A, E, I, O, and U are known as long vowels, and two vowel letters are needed to provide the long vowel sound, and they are often next to each other. Now, the second vowel influences the first vowel and changes the short vowel to a long one. Hence the well-known saying, when two vowels go walking, the first does the talking. So, a becomes a, e, 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 i, o, o, a, and u, which is sometimes pronounced u. Now, when this unusual letter y takes the place of the long vowel, it takes on the long i sound, as in these words, my, try, fly, sty, cry, and reply. There is another sound linked to this y. And it comes at the end of these two syllable words and has an E sound. So here we've got empty, jolly, frosty, rusty. In some accents, it is closer to a short I sound, which is probably the way it should be pronounced. So people would go empty, jolly, frosty, sleepy. Now, even so, over the years, the pronunciation for most people has changed to the long vowel sound E, so it's foggy, ugly, happy. The children easily adjust to this difference according to their accent. Now, there are five long vowels that are not next to each other, the A, E, I, O and U, and there is a consonant, one consonant between the vowels. And these are known as the hop over E, magic E, or split digraphs, as explained in step four, and come in words like brave, theme, prize, nose, and cube. Now, it helps the children to think of the letters as a wall. So here we've got a thin wall with just one letter, and the magic can easily get over and change the O to O, which is why this is hoped. But a fat wall, which is two letters, the magic can't get over the two consonants, and so this stays an O, oh, which is hopped. Now, usually this second vowel is an E, but it can be a different single vowel in these following words. If we have here, look here, mobile, the magic comes out of the I and changes the O oh to O, oh, and it comes out of the I here for liking, 
and out of the U for usual.